Folks, hello and welcome to Steve the Drummer at YouTube.com where we're bringing yesterday's music into tomorrow. And today I've got kind of a little bit of an oddball product review for you. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Drum Tech Bass Drum Beater. Um, so as anybody who follows electronic drums uh, probably does, and myself very much so included, uh, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos about electronic drums. There's a couple of channels that I kind of follow religiously, and one of them in particular is the drum tech video, or the drum tech videos, the drum tech being the store over in Germany that, that uh, 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 sells uh, electronic drums and uh, accessories and things of that nature. And their videos, well, I mean, quite frankly, the guy that plays on those videos is just an incredible player, just a real joy to watch. Um, he really puts a lot of energy into his playing and, and can play many genres and stuff like that. And he's, I mean, I think he could sell ice to an Eskimo, an Eskimo honestly. I mean, he, he can make pretty much any product look good. But anyhow, enough about that. So what I noticed is in a lot of their, their kit video breakdowns, when they, when they kind of start the video off and they show the different components of the kit that they're demoing and they put it all together, one of the things they always flash to is this particular drum beater that, uh, that the guy is using. And I, I don't have the video in front of me right this second, but I want to say that it says when it flashes to this beater, it, it says what the product is. It's a drum tech bass drum beater and it says light and bouncy. And all of a sudden it dawned on me that I had actually purchased that about five years ago when I first began my e-drum endeavor. Like most people, I was trying to make my electronic drums as quiet as I possibly could acoustically so that I didn't bother the people around me when I was practicing and playing my drums. Now, I can't specifically speak to how this is going to change the acoustics of, of playing um, in, your, in, your, in your particular situation. Um, I will cut in a little bit of video of me playing kind of A B between this beater and, and another beater. It probably is a little bit quieter, but I'm not going to sit here and say that it's going to make an appreciable difference in your in your an earth-shattering amount of difference in terms of your acoustic volume. <laughs> However, what I will say is that it is a nice and light and bouncy beater. It is really playable. Um, I'm a person who has uh, a very weak right foot. Honestly, the, my bass drum playing is probably the weakest aspect of my playing. Um, I do play single bass. I don't play double bass. And you know, in my endeavors of, of attempting to play the drums, I, I obviously I, I post drum covers. I play with other musicians. I play in a band. And then I spend a great deal of time in, just in my practice room, just woodshedding. And one of the biggest exercises, one of the biggest focus areas for me when I'm practicing is my bass drum and in particular my doubles and trying to trying to get my bass drum facility as, as good as I possibly can. So I say all that to say in switching beaters and using this beater and running through the, the normal exercises that I run through, I can see a very appreciable difference. And you could say, well, maybe that comes with time and with practice, but quite frankly, I've been practicing for a long time and I hadn't gotten much better. So this is, a, this is clearly something that, 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 that has to do with the beater. And I would just say it's, it's a basic beater. It's a little tennis ball on the end. It has no counterweights or anything like that. And the adjectives of light and bouncy probably most accurately describe it. Now also too, a couple of other caveats. As I said before, my bass drum work is not super strong. I don't play double bass and I'm a person that uses loose spring tension. And I know there's a lot of videos about bass drum technique and what you should and shouldn't do. And most, most people advocate for a, um, a tighter spring tension. However, I also know what's comfortable for me. And, uh, and as a middle-aged uh, male, uh, kind of slipping you know, quickly beyond middle age, 
nice loose pedals and nice, nice light and loose things are, are something that are appealing to me. And so I say that to say, you know, if you're somebody that has a really tight pedal, this, this may or may not work for you. You may have different results. You may, you may have different desires and you may, you may desire a heavier beater. But if you're like me and you like something nice and light, um, I wholeheartedly recommend this. It's a great product. It's listed on their website. It is in stock right now, and it seems to be in stock fairly consistently. It's listed for 15, 50 pounds, 15 and a half pounds. So if you're in the States and you, and you order it here in the States, um, there's gonna be a, obviously there's gonna be a currency uh, uh, exchange, which is gonna change the price a little bit. And then there's also gonna be some shipping and handling and some taxes on it. You're gonna come in well south of $30. I'd say you're gonna be in the mid twenties. It's a great little product. It's a great beater. And I'm glad, number one, when I first bought it years ago, I thought, eh, you know, no, no big deal. But now that I've kind of gotten it back out and dusted it back off, I'm like, this thing's pretty cool. This is my kind of my go-to beater from, for my electronic drums. So anyhow, I appreciate you sitting through the video today, and uh, I hope uh, if 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 uh, your your if if your bass drum beater is anywhere on your radar of things that uh, you might be looking to update, this is a great little nifty little product to uh, maybe give a try. Anyhow, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. I look forward to talking to you soon.